Today we're taking a look at the new 2024 title from Matthew's Archery. Just a reminder guys, head on over to mikesarchery.com to pick up any of our latest logo gear. We got plenty of hats and shirts as well as any gear you might need for your next adventure. Welcome back to Mike's Archery and we are taking a look at the new target lineup from Matthews with their introduction of the new title back in the summer. So this is an all new bow, totally redesigned with all new features on their target lineup. As usual, Matthews is still making all their bows right there in Wisconsin, up in the good old US of A. So let's take a look at some of the specs on this new title. Now the bow does come in two axle to axle lengths, so we're gonna cover specs on both of those. You can get this bow in a 36 inch axle to axle or a 38 inch axle to axle, which is probably where most of you guys are gonna wanna fall. Now the speed ratings on these bows are 333 feet per second on a 36 and 330 feet per second on a 38. With those two axle to axles gives you an overall cam to cam length of 40 and 3 quarters on the 36 and 42 and 3 quarters on the 38. Now the brace heights are a little bit different. On that shorter bow you're going to get a 6.5 inch brace height while on the longer option you're going to get a 7 inch brace height with a 2 and 3 8 inch reflex on it. Frankly, that 38 with a 7-inch brace height is going to be your shooter and much more stable and more forgiving to shoot rather than that shorter brace height. Now, the manufacturer's advertised weights on these are going to be 4.49 and 4.56, so really not a lot of weight difference between the 36 and the 38. Now, we pulled them out of the box and we got our real weight out of the box at 5.0 and 5.2 on the 38. Now, there are no real limb dampeners. To take off of this, however, there is the new anchor weight and it is an 8 ounce brass weight that is there on the bottom of the riser. So just deduct that half a pound off if you choose to remove that brass weight. Now it is a completely redesigned cam system and they wanted to use that switch weight technology that you see in their hunting bows on their target platform. So they created the new switch weight target cam. Now with that, came some options on the draw length from 25 inches out to 30 and a half on the 36 and on the 38 you can go from 26 inches out to 31 and a half. It's going to function just the same as their hunting modules just on the target platform allowing you to change not only your draw length but also the weight of the bow as well as the let off with a change of the module system. Now with that being said you are going to have five weight options in those switch weight mods. So you can make this bow come out at a 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70 pound max. Frankly, that 70 seems a little heavy to me, but maybe some of you guys out there are really powering through with a 70 pound option on your target bow. Now with those same module swaps, you can also change the let off. So you can do a 70%, 75%, or 80% let off with each one of those switch weight mods, you're just going to need to pick the right one to get all those three different options and change this bow through any of those options to fit any archer or any setup. Now, some of the new features on this, including that switch weight cam, is the perimeter weights built into that cam. Now, we've seen Matthews use perimeter weights and brass weighting and harmonic dampeners throughout the years. They have incorporated all that into the new title as well. You've got that brass perimeter weight in the cams, just speeds up the rotation of the cam, giving faster speeds out of it. They've also moved the axles on this cam, so they no longer go through the limbs. It is a top axle system. It is sitting on top of those limbs, bolted through the limbs, and then your axles run through a bracket that is sitting on top of the limbs. This enhances the limb's performance, as well as increasing the working performance of the limb, but it also allowed them to thin that limb out a little bit more because they don't need that thickness of the limb to be able to drill a hole through it and put your axle in it. Now they're still using the top hat system, it's just now your axles are sitting in that bracket on top of the limbs. So if you need to shim this bow, with those top hats, you're still gonna be able to move those things around and get the perfect setup and perfect tear. Now, obviously the other change that we've seen for this year was the use of that RPD limb. Now we saw it last year in the phase four in their hunting line, they have moved that over to their target line. So you've got that layer of rubber running between the four limbs on the top and the bottom, giving you an eight limb system and more vibration reduction and noise reduction in the limb setup built into that platform. Now the other thing you'll notice when you pull out a new title 
is that limb stance on this setup. They have gone to an even wider platform on the new title. It is a overall three and a half inch wide limb stance. It's gonna give you more stability and more accuracy with your shot. From there, Matthews continued to integrate things on their target models. Now with the TRX, you really didn't have some of those options, but with the new title, you've got all the bridge lock set up with a bridge lock sight system, as well as bridge lock stabilizer system. So they've got all new accessories there on their target lineup with new stabilizers that'll fit right into the bridge lock system on their target platform. It is a carbon bar system, so a lightweight rod getting those brass weights out at the distance that you need to balance this bow perfectly. From there, they use the integrated rest system on their new target setup as well. So you've got that dovetail in the back that allows you to put a QAD as well as many other integrated rest options at this point onto this bow, lining everything up, centering it on the riser and giving you a lock solid system on your rest sight and stabilizer. Now they still kept with the standard bolt holes for your sight mounting and your rest mounting setup. So if you've got a favorite rest or sight that you've been using for years and you wanna stay with something in a standard mounting system, you have still got that option to mount standard rests and standard sights to this bow. Now some of the other standard features on this bow are the center guard cable system. That is just their standard roller cable guard with a carbon rod back there. Now we've already mentioned that eight ounce brass anchor weight down here at the bottom of the riser. That is removable. Obviously Matthews knows something that a lot of other folks do. Those weights have been moving down toward the bottom limb pocket for the last several years, and this is no different. Even though they lightened up the limbs and some other things in this target model, they did add that eight ounces back down at the bottom to give a better balance. One of the things we noticed when shooting this bow and feeling this bow with that eight ounce anchor weight down there, this bow balances very well in your hand with no accessories on it. In the past, Matthews bows have traditionally been very top heavy, wanting to fall backwards towards you. With that eight ounce weight up there, this bow balances very well in your hand. Now they kept with the engaged grip system, that is still on this bow, but they have added a new ShotSense app and it is integrated into this system. It is an app that's gonna go on your phone and it is something that is an add-on to this Engage Grip system that's gonna allow you to plot and track every shot and help you to practice to maintain more accuracy and figure out where your flaws are in your shot. Now with this new cam system, they also offered the stay afield system. So we've seen that again in their hunting bows. With this redesign, you can now do a stay afield system on your target bow. That's gonna be really nice if you get into critical situations where you maybe have a malfunction or an issue that you need to correct at a tournament, you're gonna be able to break this bow down with that stay afield system and get yourself tuned back in and shooting perfectly. Also, Matthews introduced some new match grade bow strings that they are coming out with for this year. And this bow comes standard with that new higher end string built into the bow. Now, Matthews offered some new great colors this year on their target lineup, one of them being this mint green option that we got in on our preview package. Now, they still offer some other great colors in their target lineup, such as their metallic red, they're white, the optic green, they're optic yellow, that deep teal, and of course black if you wanna match everything. Now the new price point on the new title is coming in a little bit higher than what we have seen with some target models in the past, and it is a step up from their TRXs in the past. The new price point on the new title is $2,099. So you are bumping that $2,100 mark to get into one of these new Matthews target bows. But with it packed full of all the new features and just the shootability and feel of this bow, you're definitely gonna to wanna to take a look at it if you wanna be at the top of your game on the line. Now, as usual, we're gonna step back to the lane, take some shots out of this bow and give you a breakdown on some speeds. We are gonna look at this bow on a 350 grain and 400 grain arrow. And we are gonna be shooting this on a little different setup because of what they sent us to work with for this preview video. We're gonna be shooting this target bow on 65 pounds with an 80% let off at 29 inch draw length. All right, so we've stepped back here to the lane and we have got the new Title 38 that we're gonna shoot over the chrono for you. And then we'll give you a breakdown on speeds of what we got on this bow. Due to the fact that they only sent us a, a limited amount of modules and things, uh, we're gonna shoot this bow on a little different specs than what we normally shoot our target bows, uh, but we're gonna shoot it on 65 pounds with an 80% let off module. Uh, and we're gonna give you a breakdown on a 350 and 400 grain arrow. One of the things I mentioned up front when we were talking about this bow was how it balanced in your hand now with that new anchor weight. I just kinda wanna show you guys that. Typically in the past, you would've seen a Matthews kinda tip back towards you pretty heavily. This bow actually sits with nothing on it, pretty stable and pretty level. So. Overall, we're pleased with the balance 
uh, out of this bow that Matthews has built into it. So let's take a few shots and just kind of give you an idea of what kind of numbers the title is going to put up for you. All right, so with a 350 grain arrow, what we're seeing at this weight and setup is 289 feet per second. And then with a 400 grain arrow, we got 273. So overall, some pretty nice speeds, even though we are shooting at a little heavier weight than what we normally would on a target setup. Uh, it's putting out some pretty nice speeds, and I think you guys can kind of extrapolate from there as to what you'll see depending on your draw length and weight setup. But overall, we're pleased with what Matthews has done there. Now what you had seen as I came through the draw cycle, this bow is very smooth. With a target setup, uh, with a blade launcher or whatever, you're going to be able to come right over smoothly into your anchor point. doesn't drop off at the back even though that cam looks a little bit radical. Uh, it's very smooth coming over, real solid. That Even with that 80% let off, there's not a lot of drop off in that back end when you hit your anchor point. As you move down to a 75% let off or even a 70% let off, I think this bow is gonna come in really solid, really nice as it rolls over into that back wall. Now the other thing, the back wall is solid on this bow. We would expect nothing less out of Matthews and if you want a rock solid back wall, they accomplished it with all the new changes they put on this title. Now as far as the grip in the past, that is one of the things we have not been thrilled with with Matthews is that engaged grip. With this one being uh, incorporated to allow you to use that new shot sense app it may be something that you're going to be able to to tune into your bow and see exactly what you're doing as far as grip torque uh, your grip pressure you know just how you're moving that bow and your float uh, there's some really cool technology you can build into this new grip on the title but if you want to take it down strip it down to bare metal i know a lot of guys do that on the target circuit uh, you're still going to be able to pull that engage grip off there uh, put your side plates, uh, those standard side plates are still going to fit on it. But overall, man, just a very dead in the hand even. I know Matthews is known for that on their hunting side, but typically when you get into a target bow, you really get a bow that has a little more resonance to it. Uh, and this bow just sits solid, is really going to point and aim very well, but then that after shot is not going to wear you out either. Uh, it's still dead in the hand, which is what we expect out of a Matthews. So overall, man, this new title... Uh, is going to be a fantastic bow for the target circuit and we look forward to putting this thing on the line and seeing what it can do. So if you're looking for a new Matthews and looking at the new title for your target setup, give us a call here at Mike's Archery so we can get one in your hands.